Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making and this is module number 1, 2, 3 and we are going to talk about that how and when and why we have to question the authority. When we talk about questioning the authority, basically we are going to challenge the leadership perspective in terms of emotional intelligence. And when we are going to talk about emotional intelligence, obviously we are dealing with the people, we are going to have interaction with the followers. So remember that emotional intelligence is something that we need to have when we are in connection, in relation with the people. And for that perspective, first of all remember that emotional intelligence is required by the leadership, but that is not sufficient enough. It is not the case that it is only emotional intelligence that is required a leader. Ko required hai. Uske alawa, obviously, leader ki technical skills, uski conceptual skills, uski other human skills and communication skills, in sab ka bhi hona zaruri hai. And no doubt, emotional intelligence is just going to support and promote all other skills which are available with a leader. Another important thing is, when we talk about emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence should not be used to gain formal and informal authority. Because emotional intelligence is to create relationships. Emotional intelligence is to create a connection. It is not to rule, it is not to create a strong perspective in which others are feeling as if you are creating a pressure for them. Remember, when we talk about emotional intelligence, emotional intelligent leader should not be able to challenge the other people's assumptions, should not be there to make the other people feeling letting down. So emotional intelligence basically supporting aspect hai. कि जिसमें के आप लोगों के साथ empathetic होते हो, आप लोगों को ये feel देते हो कि you are there to know about their feelings, their needs, their wants, and you are there to create an environment जिसमें के वो ज़्यादा comfortable, ज़्यादा synchronized, ज़्यादा association के साथ काम वो कर सकते हैं. Emotional intelligence is there to create engagement and it is there to create involvement. So we have to be careful about the usage of emotional intelligence. इसके बाद याद रखिएगा कि emotional intelligence में कुछ चीजें शामिल हैं और कुछ चीजों को हम रद्द कर देंगे। जब हम बात करते हैं कि what are the things which are not actually part of emotional intelligence, so remember that emotional intelligence is not a need to be liked. ये ऐसा tool नहीं है कि जिससे कि आप अपना charisma create करने के लिए वहाँ पर मौजूद हो। Emotional intelligence is not something to gain power and control. Emotional intelligence is not something which is needed for the sake of its need. And emotional intelligence is not something that you have to authorize yourself to do your own. Remember, again, emotional intelligence is only there to create positive synergy, positive relationship and positive associations. So for that matter, अब इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस में फिर हमें क्या करना होगा? We have to act like authentic leaders. We have to act like ethical leaders. And obviously we have to act like, act like distributed leaders. So जब हम distributed leadership, authentic leadership और ethical leadership के साथ लोगों के साथ एसोसिएशन में आएंगे, तो they would be having a trust relationship with us. We might be taken up as level five leaders, जिनके पास विजन है और at the same time they are having a good relationship with the employees. So my dear students, अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें, तो याद रखिएगा कि emotional intelligence को आप as a हथियार यूज़ नहीं करेंगे। Emotional intelligence is only there to create a positive association, a softer feeling, a feeling of comfort, a feeling of satisfaction.